Hi, this is the Sentinel, and as usual, I'm your host, Nyati Chilari. Last week, I promised another exciting episode of tonight's show, and tell you what you don't want to miss. Tonight, I have an artist, and uh, we'll find out who she is. Welcome. I am Lucy Mwende. I am a student at the Moi University. I am taking communication and public relations. I am in my third year. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Can you tell us about your art? Oh, I make shaggy rugs. Yeah, of different. They are custom made. Actually, you can when, whichever design you want, whichever color you want, I make. What exactly? What's shaggy rugs? Because if you talk to a layman, shaggy uh-huh. rugs. What do you mean? Shaggy is just every uh, what ju- just what it means. Shaggy. They mm. are they are mats, but they 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 are different from the other mats. They they have they are thicker. Mm. They have different uh, color combinations. Mm. So yeah, they're called shaggy. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you've mentioned that you are a communication student yes. uh, and public relation. Yeah. Uh, which means it does not have any relation to this kind of art. Yeah. So how did you come to? to have that passion? Actually, it does have a lot to do with making of maths and, okay, the selling part actually, the okay, marketing okay. bit. Mm-hmm. But when I uh, I came to making maths because I have a cousin, she makes maths and she taught me, uh, a few years ago, she taught me how to make maths. Then she told me, this is the exact word she used. She said, in case you ever need to mm-hmm. use the money or, actually she was doing it for the money. But I learned how to make mats, and I, I found it interesting. I always start a mat so that I can want, so that I can see how it's going to end. I want to see the finished bit of it. Mm. So it's my passion. In you've, other words, you've talked about y- your sister, yeah, my um, cousin, uh, your cousin yeah. sister, yeah, Intro- introducing you to this. And so when exactly did you start? Uh, making the maths. Yeah. A few months ago, actually, when they say necessity is the mother of invention, okay. I needed the money. So I said, because I love making maths, I don't just do it for the for the money. Mm-hmm. So let me use my passion and the need for money. So it's a few months ago, not something you started maybe in high school. Yeah, mm-hmm. I used to make pole pole too, and then I until now now I've been, become serious about it. Okay, yeah. then you are just learning. Yeah. But mm-hmm. now you have become maybe fully fledged. Yeah. Something like that. Yes. Now you you've talked about maybe you started making the maths when you are in high school and uh, even now. Mm-hmm. Uh, did, do you get support? From? Maybe your parents and other people. Oh yes. When I started this business, actually uh, when I came for this second semester, I mean my third year, we uh, started our second semester sometime in May. Mm-hmm. So that's when I officially started making maths for money. Okay. And I didn't have the capital. I really didn't have the money to start the business. So my mother, mm-hmm. she helped me. She was like, "Whoa, you want to start this business? I'm in full support of you." So she gave me the money. Uh, any other person maybe who could give you another support? My in, friends. In, in, in any other way? Maybe my pa- friends. Apart from the capital. Yes, my yeah. friends. Mm-hmm. They're the most supportive friends I know. They mm-hmm. come. They want to know how to make them. They want to help me to mm-hmm. make the maths. They mm-hmm. want to see them finished too. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they are a big part of it. So your friends are also part of it. Yes. Have you? maybe uh, try to teach them how to do it yes i have what, what was the outcome uh, amazing they love mm. it actually mm. when they come by my place they they, uh, they ask do you have any what you're making so mm. we can help mm. so yeah they they they, they love it and uh, where do you do this because well do you do it in your room or where i do not have a mat studio mm. i just make them from my room mm. yes actually but i do have i do carry them to class okay. when 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 the class bounces or when the class is over and i have another class like in two hours mm. and i make them I, I make my mat two hours is a lot of time you've talked about doing this even in class yes. and uh, so how do you balance Balancing. class work and uh, work? Balancing kind of work. studies and making maths. It's, mm. it's, it takes a lot of discipline. Mm. It's really hard because, you know, tomorrow mm. I don't have money for the, for next week and mm. I need that money. I have an assignment to catch up on. I have notes to do and mm. it, it's a lot. But I have learned slowly to balance it. You, you, you said this is a way of earning a living. Yes. Um, is it also a, 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 a hobby? Actually, it's my hobby. Let me mm. not put it as a hobby. It's mm. my hobby. Mm. When I'm cooking, when I'm eating, that mm. small break, mm. that I use it to So instead of maybe taking part in sports and all, this is what makes this is what leisure I do. time. Exactly. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll take a break. When mm-hmm. we come back, we'll still find out more about what exactly yeah. this is all about. Okay. Thank you.